friends, welcome back to my channel. So today we're doing a simple project. It is going to be a sign. And basically I was asked by one of the youth in our church to make a craft that we could do as a combined activity with all the young women. And so after doing some thinking, I came up with this idea. If you wanna check it out, stay tuned. Okay, so basically our youth is going to include girls that are 11, turning 12 this year, all the way up until 18 years old. And so I wanted a project that would be kind of simple for all of them that they could all enjoy and just something that they could display in their room. So this is my idea. I am going to be using this quarter inch melamine board and this piece is cut at 11 by 11. So I'm gonna go out and I will show you how to cut this down if that's something that you wanna do. And then I also have this eight inch diameter of a um, circle. And so I am going to be cutting some, let's see, some lines across my white board to kind of give it a little bit of dimension and pattern. And then I'm going to be cutting out my circles, which we will Mod Podge paper on. And then I am going to put a vinyl stencil in the middle, as well as a little saying here along the bottom. And I feel like it's gonna end up being really cute. I will show you how to cut out the squares. I will show you how to cut out the circles using a jig. And you can follow along to see how I do it. All right, so to start, I'm gonna cut out all the vinyl that I need for these projects. I am counting on at least 15 girls, so I'm gonna be cutting out at least 15 of this design. I did a mock-up on my Make the Cut program already, and I will show that to you right now. Now, obviously, this design is geared towards my church because it's for a youth activity, but this can easily be done with whatever design that you want. Instead of putting a picture of the temple like I have in my circle, you can do a picture of an animal, you can do a little elephant and do a nursery saying, you can put their name underneath it, um, you can put their name in that circle, and then have a cute little saying along the bottom. There's really lots of options that you can do as regards to the design of your sign. Um, so right now I'm going to go ahead and I am going to get this ready to cut out 15 pieces and we'll get to that point. So here I am basically just separating my layers and getting them ready to cut out on my machine. I have a Zing click and cut machine, which I super love. And I love my make the cut program because I can basically duplicate things. I can change the spacing, lay it out. It doesn't have to fit on the mat um, on the screen because my machine just cuts out the roll of vinyl and it doesn't matter the placement of the images on the mat itself. Um, I don't know if this is useful to you if you guys like to see the process of the designing and the cutting out and all that. So if you don't, comment below. Let me know if that's just something I need to nix from my videos. But if you do find it interesting, please let me know. And also let me know what kind of machine you use for your vinyl. Okay, so I made my way outside and now I'm going to be cutting out all of the pieces that I need for the back of the sign. I've got my squares, which are the quarter inch melamine and they're 11 by 11. I already have four of them, so I'm only gonna be cutting about 11 of them. And so I'm gonna measure the distance off of my table saw and start ripping these down to 11 by 11. So the one thing that you want to watch for when you are using melamine, it's got kind of this hard, very thin surface on the outer edges. It's a really smooth surface, which makes it perfect for vinyl and super easy to clean. Um, it just looks really solid. So the one thing that you got to worry about though is when you're running it through your table saw, you're going to have one side that comes out clean as long as you're using the appropriate fine tooth blade. But the other side, 
you can see, might get a little bit of chip out that's breaking that um, solid surface, that little thin piece on the top. And so one thing that you can do to avoid that is to use blue tape and just wrap it where you're going to cut through, these, through the blade and that will prevent a lot of tear out. For this project, because it's for the youth, um, I'm not too concerned about it. What I will do is just lightly sand around the edges to give it kind of a uniform look and kind of sand away those little chip edges. So that's all I'm gonna do with that. And then I'm gonna go back and I'm going to create my lines. I am going to set the depth of my blade to just barely scratch the surface of this white melamine part. So after I do that, I'm gonna start with the line down the center, and then I'm gonna go about every two inches from the center and do that. And then I will have my patterned background. So let's start with that and then we'll go from there. When you are creating the grooves in your boards and you're just barely scratching the surface and not breaking through the opposite end of the surface, you don't have to worry about chip out, which is super awesome. And then when you move to create that extra two inches, you can just go through one side and then flip it over and do the opposite side. Then you'll have perfectly even lines. All right, so the trickiest part of this sign is cutting out all of the circles so that they're nice and round. And the easiest way to do that is to create a jig. I do have a very, very simple jig that I threw together a while ago. I will explain how it works. It really functions well. It's not so pretty and there's probably improvements that can be made, but it works for this particular project. So let me show you how I, uh, how I go ahead and my process for cutting these circles out. All right, so you want your template, which is, for my case, eight inches in diameter. And the wood that I'm going to be cutting all this out on is a quarter inch MDF. I just cut it just big enough so that my circle will fit on top of it. I would make it a little bit bigger. I got it a little too close for comfort, but as long as your circle will fit on top of that, then you're good to go. I just have this scrap piece here so that when I drill my center hole, it doesn't go through my work surface. So I place my board down, I put my circle on top of it. I don't trace it with a pencil or anything. And then I have a skinny bit here and I could probably maybe even go skinnier, but it needs to be wide enough that your nail can go through it. So I go ahead and I find the center of my circle, which I said it was an eight inch diameter. So it is four inch radius and I'm going to drill down. Once I do that, I now have a circle in the center of my board. At this point, I'm going to put my nail through that circle. Ooh, there we go. And let me show you how my jig works. All right, so basically I just have this scrap three quarter inch plywood and I screwed a runner on it so that it will fit and slide into my band saw just like that. The most important thing to do is to make sure that you run your blade down anywhere on the board. And then because I want my circle to have a four inch radius, I measured over four inches from where the blade is going to be. And I drilled a hole down there so that I can just take my board with my nail and I can place my nail inside of that hole, just like that. Then I'm going to slide my runner in and I'm going to turn on my saw and I'm going to bring my blade all the way to the same point where it is right four inches across from my nail hole. And I'm gonna stop it and then I'm going to spin and that's going to cut my circle. Let's see how it works.
With everything cut out and ready to go, it was just time to assemble everything together. So I found some cute scrapbook paper that I thought was super durable and I traced the circle onto it and then Mod Podged it onto my circle. And then I did a light sanding around the edges just to make it nice and smooth. Once that was done, I placed everything and kind of maneuvered it around to make sure I liked the layout. And then I took my vinyl stencils, put my um, adhesive onto it so that I could peel it up. My contact paper, I guess is what you would call it, maybe transfer tape. Nope, it's called transfer tape. And I rubbed them on and then placed them onto the boards. And then after that was all done, I took a pencil and marked the two top corners of my melamine board and drilled a hole that would be large enough for twine to be able to be pulled through. With the twine pulled through, I was able to make this nice hanging feature. And then I took some ribbon and made a cute little bow to put in the corner. Once all that was done, that was pretty much it for the whole sign and it turned out super adorable. I definitely recommend using a tool to tie your bows together because it's super stretchy. However, probably not this lime green. It was all I had on hand. Luckily, the ribbon was going to cover it anyways, but you might want to consider getting a tool that's gonna to match closer to your bow colors. Once everything was laid out and ready to be placed, I went ahead and used a hot glue gun to make sure everything adhered to where it needed to go. All right, I just finished it up and it has been a long time since I've made bows and I am still not very good at it. So that is something I need to practice. But I think it turned out super cute. I mean, right? That's like super cute. Um, it's just simple enough that I think uh, with the age range that it'll be perfect. They'll all be able to do it. It won't take too long and they can hang it up in their room. They can hang it up on their door or wherever they want. And I love it. And if you like this kind of content, please comment, like, and subscribe. There is still dried glue all over. And we'll check you guys out next time.